Um, Charlotte? Are you kidding me? Charlotte, Charlotte! Really? Oh my god. Hello people of my YouTube channel. What? 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 Huh? I need to hold something. I never know what to do with my hands. You all know I have a pretty extensive existential problem and I'll give you a moment to get your jokes out. Moving on. Anyway, as a result, I don't really believe in anything. Fate? Nah. Luck? <laughs> Astrology? Ugh. Life having any sort of purpose? <sighs> Unless it's something that's been backed up by hard scientific facts, you can assume that I probably don't believe in it. However, one thing that I do believe in is karma. That's not to say that I believe in karma in the sense that it's some almighty cosmic force that wills bad things to happen to bad people and vice versa, because obviously the world doesn't work like that. No offence to anyone who does believe the world works like that. You do you. But just karma in the simplest sense of what goes around comes back around. You know, like, if you're nice to people, then people are probably gonna recognise that and be nice to you. And if you treat people like shit, then eventually people are gonna realise how much of a terrible person you are and are gonna treat you like shit in return. You know, just simple. It all comes back around eventually. <laughs> now, in saying that, I do believe that if I've been a shitty person and something slightly inconvenient happens to me, I don't have the right to be upset about it because, let's be real, I probably deserved it. Hey, listen, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm really stuck and I need your help. I've only got two days to move into this new house, and two of the people who said they'd help me move some stuff out tonight had to cancel last minute. Is there any chance you'd be able to come around and help me move some boxes? Oh man, I wish I could, but I'm so busy with life and stuff. Yeah, I deserve that. That's just karma for being a shitty person. So karma's obviously got a bit of a reputation for being a bitch. Like me. Oh, we relate on so many levels. Because when this bad karma eventually catches up to you, no matter how much you deserve it, it still kind of sucks. However, when you get to witness karma bitch slapping someone in the face, it is the most beautiful thing ever. The story that I'm about to tell you happened about five years ago and is a 100% true story that still brings a tear to my eye to this very day. And it is a short story, but strap yourselves in. It's a wild ride. So this story starts back in 2012 when I was about 16 and working at a service station. I'd only been working there for about a month or so and I was completely on my own at the end of my shift waiting for the night shift guy to rock up so I could go home. It was relatively quiet, you know, a few customers here and there, but they were all perfectly friendly and despite the fact that I'd been there for a long time, I'd had a good work day. And then I hear the door open and slam shut and I get a glimpse of this woman storming towards the ATM around the corner. Everything was quiet, everything was fine, until suddenly I hear a very loud WHAT THE fuck? And this woman comes stomping past the shelves, up to the counter, and stops in front of me, and I swear to god there was actual steam coming out of her ears. Your ATM is broken. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. We have someone coming in to fix it tomorrow afternoon, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it right now. Well, why can't you fix it? This woman did realise I was a 16 year old kid, right? I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience, but there really isn't anything I can do. But it's your ATM, isn't it your responsibility? Actually ma'am, the ATM isn't owned by us, it's actually owned by an entirely different company, so even if there was something that we could do, technically we're not authorised. And then it all went to hell. You! This woman starts screaming at me, and I really don't like being yelled at, so I'm just standing behind the counter, trying not to cry. <laughs> this goes on for another few seconds until suddenly I remembered. Wait, you can get cash out here! Friendly reminder, I'd only been there for a month, still getting the hang of how the place worked. Okay, moving on. Wait, you can get cash out here. Well, good, I want $100. Oh, um, unfortunately, due to company policy, you can only take out $50 per transaction. And the yelling starts again. So just when I thought up an escape plan and was waiting for the perfect moment to put it into action, the woman stopped yelling. She stomps over to the drinks fridge, pulls out two drinks, stomps back to me, slams them on the counter, and goes, put these through separately and get me $50 cash out on each transaction. Where was that rational thinking 15 minutes ago before you started yelling at me? Keen to get this woman out of my store, I started processing the first transaction. I scanned the first drink, entered the cash out amount, swiped the woman's credit card through the F plus machine, and then I Everything went from bad to just 
incredible. So the Air Force machine starts beeping and I start panicking thinking, oh my god, it's something I've done. This woman is actually going to kill me. So I look at the screen to see what's going on and it, it, it takes all my willpower not to just burst into hysterical laughter. What's going on? I'm sorry ma'am, your card's been declined. What? Why? What did you do? You have insufficient funds. <laughs> Calm as a bitch! <laughs> And that's all I got. I can't help but feel a little bit bad though. I mean, this woman might have been having a really terrible day and the ATM breaking might have just been the final straw. And unfortunately for me, I was the only one around when she finally snapped. So wherever she is, it's been five years. I hope she's doing okay now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, then hit subscribe. And hey, while you're there, ding that notification bell so you get notified as to when I upload a new video. And if you take anything away from this video, it's be nice to retail workers because one day they might grow up and make videos on the internet about you. That no one watches. That's all. Bye!